Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kook Shed, uh, a YouTube channel where we talk about tips and techniques that might help surfers and bodyboarders um, of both beginner level all the way through to um, advanced. It's just tips and techniques I've picked up during my time as a surfer or a bodyboarder um, that may help you. So today we're talking about removing a damaged grub screw from a surfboard. Now, I'm not sure whether the camera will pick this up, but a grub screw, if you're not sure, if you don't know, a grub screw is a tiny little screw that secures your surfboard fins to the surfboard. Um, so they recess down into the deck, and the underside of the deck, and they keep uh, your fins in place so they won't fall out when they're in the surf. Um, so from time to time you might get a grub screw that is uh, damaged and chewed out. So inside the grub screw there is a hexagonal uh, design, a hexagonal shaped hole that will fit a tiny allen key or um, or the pre-made fin key. Um, it can also take a tiny uh, screwdriver as well, a flathead screwdriver, but uh, fin keys are cheap, easy to find and probably the best to use. Uh, so you've got a grub screw that's chewed out because it might be old, it might have been in the board for years and it's gone a bit rusty, it might have had a lot of use being taken in and out and it could have been made from substandard materials. Most good uh, grub screws will be made of uh, a stainless steel or something that won't rust as very easily but you can get some boards that are cheaply made and they seem to source their grub screws from a cheaper source and they seem to be of a lesser quality and they will chew out quite quickly. So, what I've found, the quickest and easiest way for me to, to extract a broken grub screw that's stuck in the board and I can't change my fins, the easiest way I've found is to get some resin, Solicure resin, that I've got already to work on my surfboards. Um, and put some, put a drop of the resin on the end of an old fin key. So uh, use a fin key that you don't mind if it is damaged because we're going to do a process that will permanently make this fin key unusable as a fin key. So use an old fin key or if you don't have one go buy one, it's only like four dollars, five dollars uh, Australian. Um, and it will get your fin out of the board so you can change fins or whatever. It will free up your board again, so it's a worthwhile investment. Um, so what you do is, these are two types of um, resin, Solicure resin. Um, so they, they're designed for um, fixing dings and cracks in, in boards and they cure in the sun with UV light. So there's many types available. These are just the ones I've been using. Um, both are great. This is uh, Dura resin and this is uh, an epoxy type from Ocean Earth. Um, they're both, both great. So what you do, you put a drop of the resin. Uh, before we do, sorry, um, you need to double check that the resin you're using works with the board that you're working on. I know that you're not actually going to be putting the resin on on a board on the board itself really you're just putting it in the grub screw hole but still I would use uh, the resin that matches that, that that is compatible with your board so if you have an epoxy board you should be using an epoxy resin uh, like this one this is epoxy there if you're using an old uh, 
if you're using an older board or, or a PU board, um, the traditional uh, polyurethane boards, um, you need to use PU specific uh, solar cure resin. Um, some, like this one, will work with both. This will work with both, an epoxy. Oh, there we go. So, epoxy, sorry, polyester safe. This one says epoxy and polyester safe, not polyurethane. Polyesters. Um, so you, I would, if I'm going to put any of this stuff near near a board, I use the matching one because if you get a little bit of the wrong stuff on the wrong board, it can actually damage it. Uh, it can actually eat through the board. So double check. If you don't know what your board's made of, ask someone who's a bit more experienced, or um, Google your particular model of board if it's online and just double check because if you do get a drop in the wrong place it can be uh, not good and you'll have more to worry about than just getting out a broken grub screw. Alright, sorry, I've crapped on enough. We get a drop of the resin and pop it in to the grub screw. So you make sure it's enough to you make sure that it's enough to cover the tip of the, the uh, key, fin key, and that it, there will be enough on that, uh, enough of a drop on there, so that when you put it in the in the hole into the chewed out grub screw, it will fix, it will fill out fill up the hole. It'll fill up fill up that hole. Actually, it'll probably be easier to see. So when you pop it in there, just picture this is sunken into the board. This uh, grub screw. So when you pop that in there, it's going to fill the hole and a little bit's going to be out the top and it's going to bond with the fin key itself. So you don't want a large amount, but you want enough so that it will completely cover the tip of the um, fin key and um, come out a little bit. So then what you do, you've got your fin key hanging out the board, it's sticking in the resin. Then you pop the board in the sun. Um, now you need to you need to allow enough time for the resin to set, and you also need to turn the board around in the sun to make sure that all sides of that uh, key and the resin, every piece of resin, has been cured by the sun. Don't be impatient. You need to make sure that that resin has set like a rock. So when I did it, um, I popped the key in with the with the dob of resin on the tip and I left it in the sun for about half an hour and it's you want nice direct sunlight. You don't want overcast day um, or late afternoon. You want you want warm, strong direct sunlight. Um, try Try and only leave the board in the sun as long as you need because if you've got whiteboards, sometimes a whiteboard will discolour and go a little bit yellow after too much direct sunlight. So try and minimise how long you're going to leave it there, but obviously leave it long enough for it to cure. So I'll turn the board around so that um, the sunlight hits all sides of the, the key and really make sure it's set. And once that's done, you can you can just pull it out. You just un, unscrew it, and the whole lot will come out. The, the the key and the grub screw will come out fixed together. That's why you need to only use a fin key that you don't care if it if it's useless because this will be set like a rock on uh, onto it. So there you go. You'll have a free hole there to put a new grub screw in. Try and uh, get a good quality grub screw. Um, from a good uh, manufacturer, Ch yeah, no cheap ones because you're going to end up doing the same thing. They're going to get stuck in there. They're going to chew out. The, yeah, and they're, they're just no good. So try and get a good quality stainless steel uh, grub screw, and in a way you go. You've got a free board there where you can chuck a new one in and change your fins and do whatever you like. But that's that's the easiest, quickest way I've found. I'm sure. There's other ways to get one out. If you've got a way to get a, a broken grub screw out of a surfboard, 
leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for dropping by. Uh, it's just a quick one today, as I said. Uh, if you like the content, hit like, uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, so um, you can catch us next time here in Cookshed. Alright, catch ya.